Hello guys, so today we are going to see accessory glands in human digestive system. So there are four accessory glands in the digestive system. Basically, first one is salivary gland, then comes gastric gland, then liver and pancreas. This all will help in the digestion of carbohydrate, protein and fats. So let's discuss one by one how they will help in the digestion process. So first comes to the digestive uh, salivary gland. So you know that the digestion starts or begins at the mouth itself. So from the in the mouth, you have a salivary gland around the mouth and this salivary glands will produce saliva. So there are three salivary glands First is parotid, then submandibular and sublingual. So parotid gland will present near the ear, okay, near the ear. Submandibular gland will present near the mandible and sublingual gland will present near the tongue, okay. So it is known as lingual means tongue and mandible means your, this area is your mandible, okay. So it is present near the mandible, so it is known as submandibular and this present near the tongue, so it is known as sublingual and another one is present near the air and it is known as parotid gland this all glands will secrete saliva which contains the salivary amylase and this salivary amylase will help in the parcel breakdown of the carbohydrates carbohydrates okay the salivary amylase what it will do it will help in the parcel digestion of the carbohydrates and this uh, picture uh, uh, given in this slide is taken from the MSD and MSD manual. MSD and MSD manual. Now next comes to the gastric gland. Okay, so gastric glands present in the stomach help in the partial breakdown of the protein. So in the mouth, there will be partial breakdown of the carbohydrate. In the stomach, there will be partial breakdown of the proteins. So gastric glands, you already know, already we have discussed in last class that it produces gastric juices, which is which includes pepsin, HCl, mucus, and this pepsin will help in the partial digestion of the proteins. Now next comes to the liver. So liver generally helps in the emulsification of the fats, okay. Fats cannot be broken down easily, but it can be emulsified, okay. So larger fat droplets can be emulsified into smaller fat droplets. And this emulsification process will be done with the help of bile, okay. This bile juice will be secreted from liver and gallbladder. Okay, from liver and gallbladder. They combinedly help in the secretion of the bile juice. Okay, and this bile juice will help in the emulsification of fats. That is to break down larger fat droplets into smaller fat droplets and that's why if there is a problem in your liver or if the gallbladder is removed due to some reason this person will be having trouble in digesting oily foods because oily food contains fats and this fats will be digested with the help of bile and bile will be produced by the liver and the gallbladder Next comes to the pancreas. Pancreas secretes digestive juices and hormones. So this pancreas is a heterocrine gland and you know that pancreas is also producing insulin which helps in the maintaining which helps in the maintenance of blood sugar level. But we won't go on this topic blood sugar level we will be focusing on the digestive system. 
so pancreas will produce this pancreatic juice okay this pancreatic juices has three there are three types of pancreatic juices first is your pancreatic amylase which will help in the digestion of breakdown of carbohydrate next is trypsin which will help in the breakdown of protein or which will help in the digestion of protein and lipase which will help in the breakdown of fat so in this way pancreas will help in the digestion process during the preparation of this video i have used two references two book references first one is your gerard j totora principles of anatomy and physiology 12th edition and second one is your rizor d rizor d fundamentals of anatomy and physiology fourth edition so these two books i have used as a reference for preparing this video thank you very much for watching this video patiently